Hello everyone, it's me, it's the horrible gorg, it's the hee-haw, it's the hedge bedge. Um, and today I'm here to talk to you about something very exciting. Or at least something that I think is exciting, maybe you will too, I have no idea, we'll see, I guess. Um, so, I've been doing YouTube for four years now. And in that time, I've primarily done voice acting stuff and some writing stuff. Um... And, you know, I, I've i always wanted to branch out and to do something else um, on YouTube. Uh, but I've never really had, like, the energy or the time or the, or the skill to do so until now. So, but now, now I finally think I'm ready to, to branch out and do something new. So today I'm here, I'm super excited to announce that um, I'm going to be starting a spinoff channel. Uh, it's called The Hedgehog Writing Room. And the focus of this spin-off channel is going to be uh, video essays. It's going to be analysis content, uh, because that's something I've been interested in and doing for ages and ages and ages and ages. Um, I did one small, I guess, pseudo-analysis video on the channel. It was the Hedgehog History video that I did ages ago. Um, but now I'm, I think I'm ready to, to branch out and do some of that stuff. Um, this channel won't be going anywhere. I'll still be posting things on here. I still still will be voice acting and uh, this new channel will definitely have some voice acting involved in it um, because I I love voice acting and uh, the analysis content is going to be pseudo focused on stuff that you know doesn't have voice acting. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of manga and visual novels and, and video games and stuff. Uh, I'll also be talking about some anime and and stuff like that and maybe some history maybe some Lovecraft stuff we'll see um so obviously it doesn't really have a big focus because if you try to get me to focus on something I'll get bored with in five minutes uh, <laughs> but yeah I'll still be posting things in here I'll still post my writing here I'll still live stream here I'll still upload stories and and uh occasional voice acting stuff I'm probably not going to do another full dub of something for a pretty long time because I am so sick to death of doing those. <laughs> they really take it out of you um so you might be wondering uh what is the first video on this channel and where can I find this channel well Obviously, there is a link down in the description below to this new channel. I'm sure I'll put a card right here to the channel too, and it will be at the end of the video as well, so you have no excuse for not going to it and, and subscribing to it if this seems interesting. I know some of you here are going like, oh god, an hour long video, oh fuck, why would you make content that long? And some of you are going, I get to listen to you talk for an hour? Yeah. Um, so that's all very exciting. Plus, uh, you won't have to look at this disgusting face the whole time. Um, if, if there are those of you out there who are only in it for the waifu content, well, I've got you covered. I'd like to introduce Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, Dragon made me a model that I'll be posing in lieu of showing my face because showing my face is very, very... Jackson <laughs> But yeah, so if you want to just watch a cute model talk on the screen with with obviously lots of footage I'm not I won't be one of those now seekers that just shows their face the whole time or just has a model the whole time because I think that's really boring um, Anyway, I got off track. You might be wondering what the first video is um, It's going to be different than what I intend to make on the channel But it was something that caught my interest and something I thought would be really fun so this first video is an hour-long video on Tumblr sexy men. That's right. I talk for a whole hour about Tumblr sexy men. So uh, those of you who are in it for the waifus, I'm sorry, but those of you who are in it for the husbandos, uh, here's a video about husbandos. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm super, I'm super excited. If this is anything that even remotely interests you, I really sincerely hope you'll, you'll click on the card that will show that video right now, and the link in the description, and the end card, and all those places, and subscribe to the new channel. I'm really hoping this will be successful. I'm gonna try to make it as successful as I can, and I hope you will help me do that. And for those of you who are still on the fence, uh, the rest of this video, after I'm done talking, will be a five-minute preview 
of what the Sexy Man video is, uh, which I'm going to be playing, like, right now, because I've talked for five minutes, and according to YouTube standards, that's too long. So, I guess that's gonna pop up now, so, uh, enjoy. <laughs> So, the three of you who live under a rock are probably a little confused, I'm sure. What the hell is a sexy man, and why is it one word? Unfortunately, that's a bit of a loaded question, and like most things on the internet, the exact definition of what makes a sexy man is highly debatable. The official Sexypedia defines the phenomenon as a character considered questionable taste sick to onlookers of the disproportionately large group that considers them sexy. That original is a little bit jumbled, so to put it into slightly better words, and to add a few of my own, a sexy man is a character who to the average viewer would not be considered incredibly attractive or sexy. This could be for many reasons, including physical appearance, personality traits, a non-human form, or a simple case of not being viewed by the story they appear in as particularly attractive. However, this character is, for whatever reason, disproportionately drawn in a sexy way and otherwise claimed to be as such by a particularly rabid fanbase. So, by this definition of the trope, Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls is your stereotypical sexy man, whereas Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, or really, anyone from JoJo's, is not. <laughs> There are many other common ways to identify a sexy man, and many subtropes associated. We'll get into these in more detail later, but for now, here are the most common ways to spot a sexy man. More often than not, a sexy man will be a villain or act somewhat antagonistic in their source material, but will have a horde of fangirls trying to explain away his actions with a tragic backstory or some other excuse. A sexy man is almost by definition, with one or two exceptions, a skinny white twink, usually well-dressed, often British. If said character is being humanized, they will always be drawn in some sort of formal wear, most often with a bow tie and suit vest. Most importantly, to be considered a sexy man, they need to make use of the patented sexy man smirk. Ahem, roll the montage. So, this character looking a little familiar now? Yeah, you've seen him. I know you have. In fact, you've probably already got one or two examples in mind if for some reason you didn't recognize one from the montage. In fact, you probably have many, many examples. In fact, you're probably thinking about one particular character right now. How do I know? Because I'm psychic, that's why- Nah, I'm kidding. I just know the internet better than that. But... As much as I hate to, as much as I loathe that this is the character people think of when they think sexy man, we have to talk about the history of sexy men and the onceler. God, I still hate that that sentence came out of my mouth. Um, just popping in here to say that if you laughed once uh, during that preview, you are legally obligated to subscribe to the new channel. I, I just want to lay that out there. Thanks. <laughs> 